Ever notice how dog breeds look so different from one another? A Maltese weighs about 7 pounds, while the English Mastiff can weigh up to 240 pounds. It's not just weight either. Just look at the difference in shape between the Dachshund and the German Shepherd. Cats, on the other hand, have way less variation. The Singapore cat weighs about 8 pounds, while the largest domesticated cat breed, the Maine Coon, only goes up to about 20 pounds. Besides their size, cat breeds look pretty much the same. There are 190 recognized dog breeds in the US, and only 42 cat breeds. So, why don't cat breeds have the same extremes in size and shape as dogs? Okay, so there are really quite a few answers to that. That's Carolyn Vela, former member of the Cat Fanciers Association, a nonprofit dedicated to documenting and showcasing cat breeds. Dogs were appreciated a lot more than cats were because dogs were useful. They were considered protective animals as well as working animals. Man's best friend has been around for a really long time. According to skeletal remains found in Russia, domestication of dogs started at least 19,000 years ago. When they weren't cuddled up with their human, they were likely involved in some type of labor. German shepherds were used as shepherds in Germany. It's a lot easier to get Spike to herd your sheep than to do it yourself. Foxhounds were used to, okay, these names are self-explanatory and you get the point. Whether you wanted your property guarded or farmland tended to, there was a dog for that. Through selective breeding, owners quite literally shaped their dogs according to their needs. So, why don't cats have nearly as many breeds? Cats are there to be admired. What you do for a cat is you look at it and you admire it. They're so beautiful. You know, it's a big difference. Cats have been revered for back to ancient times. So revered even, that in some cases, breeding them was looked down upon and even prohibited. The Japanese bobtail was originally a street cat. Then the emperor of Japan fell in love with the street cat. He had it in his palace and he decided that no one but himself could breed this cat. Do you think at some point that cat breeds will be as varied as dog breeds in the future or? Um, I don't think so. We have an awful lot of people who are against pedigreed animals of all kinds because we have a, a situation where we have a lot of shelter animals. They are very much opposed to breeding pedigreed animals because they want the shelters to be empty. Organizations like PETA are against selective breeding because it can cause health complications. Bulldogs suffer from respiratory issues and overheating, and German Shepherds can suffer from hip dysplasia, a condition where leg bones don't fit into their sockets. Cats aren't immune to health problems either. Pedigree cats have a higher risk of getting cancer, kidney disease, or joint problems. And Carolyn's right about the U.S. having a lot of shelter animals. The ASPCA estimates about six and a half million animals enter a shelter every year. One and a half million end up being put down. So, if you're thinking of getting a pet, consider adopting from a shelter.